South Carolina's Francis Bidler Forest has been named a Ramsar wetland of international importance, joining the ranks of Africa's Okavanga Delta and Florida's Everglades. This precious South Carolina wetland, with trees that are 1,000 to 1,500 years old, is the largest virgin forest of bald cypress and tupelo trees in the world. Since 1969, it has been managed by Audubon as the Francis Bidler Forest Sanctuary and Audubon Center. It previously received designation as a national natural landmark in 1979 and was recognized as an important bird area in 2001. Bidler Forest is home to swallow-tailed kites, prothonotary warblers, and many other species on the Audubon watch list. It's hard to overstate the significance of the Ramsar designation. In many ways, it feels like the validation of 35 years of our work and the acknowledgement, really, of the world that this is a truly spectacular natural resource. 1,700 acres of virgin forest, 1,000-year-old cypress trees, landscapes that have been unchanged for 10,000 years. But it also provides another very important uh, element of protection from an international organization that doesn't just say it's important for South Carolina or the U.S., but it's important for the world. The forest is a refuge for people, too. 12,000 visit the Audubon Center every year. You can go, this swamp's a mile and a half wide. Squirrels can go from one side of the swamp to the other side and never touch the water. And if you look through them, yeah, that's part of the back of his body. He's just laying in the... Uh... Bidler's nearly half million acre watershed represents one third of the total watershed of the Edisto River, the longest free-flowing Blackwater River in the United States. Bidler Forest will become the 23rd Ramsar site declared in the USA the first in South Carolina, and it will be the first Audubon sanctuary in North America ever to be granted this important designation. Audubon is proud of the Ramsar designation, an international recognition of our decades of effort to preserve and manage this wetland treasure.